everybody. Nothing new here, just waiting on my sister as usual. However, I was determined to be on time this week, so I'm on time. Told you we'd do better. She should be here any minute. But today we have something really cool. We have one of our super talented makeup artists, Lacey, coming to show you how to keep your makeup looking fresh while you're wearing a mask. Um, I made it! Well, that was way I'm less here. late than I thought she'd be. So, only, only like literally two minutes late. That doesn't even count as being late. That might be a record. <laughs> Hey, first off, cheers. Cheers. Happy Wednesday. Wednesday. We're happy, happy through Wednesday. the week. Facebook, Instagram. Happy we're here with you. And yeah, you get to see somebody's a different face. A different, a different face, a different <laughs> idea of how to do things. And it's going to be super fun for y'all. So I can't yay. wait <laughs> for Lacey to teach y'all. So this is one of the things that we have been asked about over and over and over again. How in the heck am I supposed to do or wear my makeup when I have this, you know, face covering, halfway up covering my face? So they're, they're all day or <laughs> for hours. <laughs> Whoops. Well, that would have been fun. I could have gotten her back. You know what? I'm pretty sure I didn't was, mean to do that at all. It might have accidentally, you know, it would have sweeped <laughs> and gotten you. It would have. Totally would have. <laughs> that was a wine save. But um, it's true. It all day long. Covering up this part of your face makes it so hard to rock your look. Right. <laughs> it does. So we've had a lot of people that are like, why even wear makeup? Why am I doing this? Well, here's the thing. Of course, we don't have the benefit when we have our mask on of just popping on a red lip and rocking. We switched today. <laughs> and just rocking, rocking out into the world and being like, I got this. I'm confident. We lose that because that's covered. So, uh, but we're going to teach you that yes, you can wear makeup, and here's how to do it, and here's how to highlight the top half of your face. So which here's can be really fun. It can be really fun and really beautiful. And here's Lacey. Oh, here here I am. Hi. Here's Lacey. Lacey. Hello, everybody. So, Lacey and I have been yeah. together Hello. since Hello. the beginning Hello. of my Hello. makeup time. Years. Um, Over yeah. A decade. Long oh, time. It's been a really long time. Not to yeah. age us or anything. No, we're. But, uh, it's been a good bit. So this girl, like, uh, no better teacher. Um, we constantly learn from each other and empower and encourage each other. And I'm excited for her to get Yes, and I'm next to Gertie with her beautiful makeup on, and I am a fair <laughs> face. But there's a reason behind this. All right, okay. So I think one of the things that I've we have said people ask is, I am wearing this <clears throat> lovely garment all day. Um, and nobody sees my face. So um, depending on what your job is, I mean, some people have to wear a mask for eight to 10 hours a day. I mean, obviously our healthcare workers, um, that's a, a different uh, scenario. We're so grateful for all their hard work and dedication right now through this challenging time. Um, but there are a lot of people who have office jobs or work in the industry, and you really do have to wear your face mask all day long. And so I think the question we've been getting was, do I even wear makeup at all? Um, and I did poke around on YouTube. Um, there's a lot of tutorials out there on how to keep your makeup long wearing under a mask. But truth be told, if you wear makeup, it's gonna come off on your mask. So this isn't so much gonna be about how to make it last longer, but how to highlight and accentuate um, the top half of your face so that you feel put together when you're out there in the world wearing your mask. So um, normally when I do my makeup, I, everybody kind of has a different way that they do it, right? Some people start with eyes, some people put their foundation on first, um, just depending on what your routine is and what your lifestyle is. Um, right now, when I do my makeup, I'm really focusing on the top half of my face. Now, we're not gonna ignore the bottom half because inevitably, if you're at work all day, at some point you're gonna take your mask off and you don't wanna have just half your face done, that would look strange, right? But when I'm doing my makeup, I always kind of start out with my eyes, because that's really the the thing that everyone's gonna see right now. And like Gertie was saying, the days of popping on a red lip and running out the door is pointless right now. Um, we'll get back there, we will, and we're gonna love that, but right now let's focus on this, this half of the face. So um, something really important to keep in mind is, um, first and foremost, is blush and bronzer. So if you don't wear blush and bronzer, now is the time. 
Um, kind of the rule of thumb with blush and bronzer is that you, um, Gertie, it looks like your camera, is it, is it still good? It went out? But I'm still here. Are we still? Okay. Pause, Being pause. Tight. Everybody, we're, we're back. back. Everybody have a, a little drinky poo. It's okay. I had time to have a sip. So Yay. It was, it was, I, I did that on purpose, actually. Anyway, um, so I'm going to start out first and foremost. We have an amazing product. Um, it's called Powder Play. It's the powder foundation. So I don't regularly wear a powder foundation because I'm very dry. Although this is a fabulous product, even though I am dry. But right now, I'm using this kind of um, all over because I have to wear the mask. So instead of wearing a heavy liquid, which is gonna come off, and then also, you know, when you're breathing in that mask all day, it's gonna create, um, you're gonna be sweaty under there, right? So um, I would start out uh, just kind of gently, um, you know, getting my powder foundation, just gently, um, very light amount, you guys, not a lot, again, especially in this area of the face because you are gonna be wearing a mask. I just make sure that I've got my skincare. Um, I, I still wear my sunscreen underneath there as well. Don't forget that just because there's a mask on. Um, but I am just gonna add just a light layer of this um, just to make sure that I'm finished on this part of my face. Because again, you don't wanna forget about the area that you are not showing, unfortunately. So I always just add a light layer. Again, it's gonna be really great because it's not heavy and not a lot of it is gonna come off on the mask. And we did have uh, the, the camera. Am I what? Yeah, both Still places. Live? Okay. Here we go. There we go. We're I good. don't know why it's just... I don't know why that is happening. So no worries, we're still good. So again, I have no concealer on right now. I'm just gonna do a little of the powder foundation. Now obviously, as I do my makeup, y'all, I have my mask with me when I'm in the bathroom because I am gonna go ahead and check to see, you know, do I have enough on? Also, your mask isn't always gonna be this high. You know, you wanna cover your nose, we all know that. So, you know, this is about as much as you're gonna see, okay? So I've got my foundation on underneath. Now the biggest thing is we're gonna talk about your bronzer and your blush. So rule of thumb is kind of always like this. You put your bronzer about right here, like in an L shape, okay? And then you smile and you pop your blush right on the apples. Well, with our mask, unfortunately, right, Gertie? It's like, we don't see those apples anymore, exactly. unfortunately. So what yes. I wanna show you guys is how to lift that up just a little bit so that you're gonna see it. So remind, remember, this isn't regularly how you would put on your blush and your bronzer, <laughs> like if you were getting married or, you know, gonna do a headshot or something, but for the sake of the mask, we're gonna do it like this today. Love it. So I'm gonna take our fabulous Gertie. Why do you love our bronzer so much? I know why I love it, but. I love it because it's so hard to find a bronzer that's not orange. It yes. doesn't look fake on your skin. And um, I'm so pale. Yeah, they I feel always like, look so orange on me, which is it, awful. Yeah, nobody wants an orange bronzer. So it's got this slight like gold dust to it, and it mm -hmm. also has an SPF in it, which is awesome. So you're getting protection from the sun and looking like you've been basking in the sun all in one. All so in to one. me, that's a win-win. Yeah, I love it. That looks really pretty on you. So I, the other thing you guys want to keep in mind is you yeah, want to put on a little bit more than you normally would because, again, our goal is to see this to look finished. So I'm gonna add just enough. I mean, that looks so pretty on you. Well, and That's... then before you finish, again, you're always holding up your mask. Kind of take a look and see, oh. did I do enough? So without the mask, it might look a little silly right now, but then when you put your mask on and you cover it, you can still see that you've got some yeah, bronzer on. Perfect, because you can really see it. You can see it like right in there. Love it. So Beautiful. now that I know the placement is correct, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it just a little bit more. But it's important to apply the color, put the mask up, see if it looks right, and then you do a little bit more of the blending. So then right now I'm gonna go ahead and just blend it because it did look a little a little bit heavy. And Lacey, it's true too. Like what you know, once you figure out where you're placing it, this will be really fast for future so days. Fast. I mean, once you do your, curve. exactly, once you do your placement, you're done. So again, all I did was lift that bronzer up a little higher than I normally would. Second thing is blush. Now, many of you might say, forget about blush, I'm not going to wear it, because why would I? I wouldn't, I don't go out of the house without blush on, it's my thing. <laughs> Even if it's hidden under a mask, it just makes me feel better. But I'm going to show you right now, um, our cream blushes are so phenomenal. Um, this is my absolute favorite color, Sonoma. 
You can use your finger, hello, you don't even have to have a brush, but I'm gonna smile, okay? And I'm gonna keep my blush really high. So again, you don't wanna go under the eye area by any means, but just at the very, very top of where your bronzer is. Originally, you would smile, you guys, and put it right here, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, is that gonna show? No, it's yeah. not. <laughs> so unfortunately, I'm gonna smile. I'm gonna go ahead and just tap my blush a little bit higher. The other thing yeah. to keep in mind is you don't want it to look crazy. So if you take your mask off, you've got this like weird high makeup. We're just <laughs> lifting it just a little bit, like a half inch up. But you still yeah. want to blend. The great thing about this, you can use your fingers, right, Gertie? That, I mean, that looks Even gorgeous. if I don't even, I can so even easy. do this without even looking in the mirror because the blush is so forgiving. Um, it's so easy to blend. Um, again, you want to make sure. So, Lacey and Gertie, we have a question. Why cream blush? What What are the benefits of that versus the powder? Anybody? Yeah. Do you want? <laughs> you want me well, to I mean, I could go Gertie, on and go on. for it. I'm blending, <laughs> but I could go okay. on for an hour. So I might take up the whole. I love cream because it tints your skin, so it gives you a little bit of a tint rather than a powder that sits on top. This literally, t like legit tints you. So it's gonna last all day long is what that means. Rather than absorb into your skin or rub off. Exactly. I mean, what so else? So this already looks pretty. Granted, I have no concealer or eye makeup on, but I did do a little bit of powder foundation, a little bit of bronzer, and then the blush. And if I put my mask on, you guys can see, that you can still see a little bit of that color right there. Okay, so now That's the beautiful. key is this. If you don't wear concealer, which God forbid is a sin, <laughs> just um, now is the time, okay? You really wanna make sure that you're bright under your eye areas, especially wearing that mask all day. So if you're not someone that generally wears a lot of concealer or like under eye brightener, now is the time to really start and investigate. You don't have to wear a lot, you guys. You can just do a little bit. Um, I love to use the extra light, um, which is very brightening. It's very brightening. I have chronic dark circles. You can see by looking at me now in my family, so I swear I was born with them. Um, again, you don't have to use a brush with this. You can just dab it on with your finger. Really important that we're gonna be keeping it in the corner area. You don't need to put a ton out in here. It's really all about keeping it bright in this area. The brighter, the better, okay? So you wanna remember, because again, you guys, we're talking about highlighting our eyes when we're wearing a mask. So what I'm gonna do is I just use my finger. It's very easy. My ring finger is the easiest one to blend. Um, and I'm just gonna start right in the corners right here, okay? And then, really not going out into this area. I'm a little older, more mature than some of these <laughs> young girls here. In my mid 40s, so I like to keep the cream away from the, the crinkles. Um, <laughs> Gertie's laughing uh, at me. <laughs> and I would say, Lacey, do you agree, like go probably for, for this, for the new, the new mask makeup, the new normal that we're living in right now. Mm -hmm. I would normally match concealer exactly, Absolutely. but right now I'm, nope. I'm almost, yes. I'm, you can almost go like a tiny little bit lighter so just right, to Gertie. brighten, right? Cause Instead really of, we're brightening that area and you can even see now like how so much pretty. brighter and better that looks. I didn't have to take it way out over here. I really just want to keep the brightness in here. Now you can go it's even gorgeous. brighter or you can go a little bit less, but just trying to keep this like super simple. Again, I'm going to start in the corners right now and just go right where it's dark. And again, I am using extra light, which um, again, because of the You're mask, going a little bit brighter, exactly. I'm going a little brighter. But we have eight shades. So you can eat shades. Yeah. We put it on like the time of the year or I'm very fair and sometimes I have a little more sun or you know, just depending on um, my mood even, I'll be honest. That was mm -hmm. really pretty, it made a huge difference. It, or also depending eyes. on like what color mask you're wearing. Um, I've got, you know, we have, I have like a plethora of masks now. I've got <laughs> pink, I've got polka dots. I've got like a light one. Um, yeah, like this is, my, this is my little polka dot <laughs> one is so cute, right? Depending on to what color mask you're wearing, you might want to brighten, uh, you know, your concealer might be brighter. Like if you have a black mask against your face, you might, and you'd never think of these things, right? Exactly. But now if you want to be put together with makeup, you, that's something you're thinking about. So again, I've, I've made my bronzer a lot higher. I've done my blush a lot higher and I've done a brighter um, concealer. Um, so again, I did my little test. I feel like it looks, Put together so the next step which is my favorite step um we haven't done the eyes yet but we're going to do highlighter so gertie this is gertie's favorite thing yeah. ever yes. why do you love, love this 
tell me. Uh, this is so. This I mean, is my favorite highlighter because a little bit goes a long way. So it's a tiny, tiny little pin drop mm -hmm. of this makes a huge impact. So you'll be able to see this on camera. You can smudge a little bit to the upper cheekbones so and you're gonna pretty. see that there all day and it's going to Beautiful. shine beyond your mask, right? So right. it's gonna give you that brightening. And it, it is, it's very, it's a little more intense than a cream. This is a, our liquid highlighter. So our creams are beautiful. Oh, look how pretty that looks. I mean, it's just. So again, and I'll be honest, I'm at 45. Yes, I'll admit it on camera. Um, <laughs> I don't always wear highlighter. It's actually, it's never been part of my personal beauty routine um, for no specific reason, but now it is. And so really right. highlighting this area right here, I mean, that's the area that's showing, right? And so I have been using this and it's making, when I take selfies, I don't take a lot of selfies, but when I do, or I sometimes just take a picture of myself to see what I look like, but yeah. I don't post it. <laughs> Scroll through someone's phone and there's millions of their pictures. I just check to see if my makeup looks pretty. But again, so when I do this, you guys, remember I'm keeping it really high, right in this area. I'm not doing it under my eye, remember that, because I don't want it to set in any, any creases, but almost just right on top of that blush and that bronzer. And I mean, Gertie, don't you think still, like it still looks normal, even though I don't have my mask on, but I did lift yeah. it all up a couple inches. You Because again, you don't want to look crazy. No, you, you can like, totally go in public right now. And I, I mean, could. you look beautiful. Maybe I should. Yeah, you I should. I don't go anywhere anymore, but hey, <laughs> now's the time. So again, so I'm really going to pat this in. And you guys, this is, you know, highlighter is not just for like the millennials. For all ages. It really all is ages. designed to brighten. The other thing you can do too, I like to take this, you guys, really and then just pat a little tiny bit of it right in the corner. I know I did some concealer, but I just tap a little bit, like right in there, to kind of it's like really pretty. highlight yeah. the nose area. And maybe just a tiny bit on the tip of my nose because I know it's Love not it. gonna show, but it makes me feel pretty. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put our mask up and see if we, do we notice a difference, Gertie? Is it pretty? I mean, I think you look stunning. Right. So I love that you said, you know, this makes me look pretty because it is important right now. There are no, there's no hard rules about there are no You hard have rules. to do what makes you feel pretty and, and, and you know, that's the point all that of this, matters. Obviously it's like a tutorial, but like I'm telling you to do this will take you two, three, five minutes. I mean, five minutes right. at max, at I mean, to do it. Um, but doing these little things are gonna make you feel put together when you're at work and you have to wear that mask. So the last thing I wanna show you guys is, it's, we're not gonna do a smoky eye tutorial today, that'll be <laughs> next week, Gertie. <laughs> but um, it's all about eyes. So some girls wear eyeliner every day, no matter what. Doesn't matter if they have a mask on, if they're laying at home with the kids, if they're at the pool, they wear their eyeliner. Some of us don't, you know, I, I wear eyeliner, it depends on my mood. Um, I wanna show you an, a really easy way to wear eyeliner if you don't wear eyeliner every day. Now those of you girls that put on your eyeliner perfectly every day, yes, that's a, it's just a good time for you because we need the eyeliner and we need the mascara, and we need the lashes, again, because we're covering our face. So the eyes are the focal point. But there's a lot of girls I meet all the time that maybe wear just a coat of mascara, they don't really do eyeliner, they don't know how. Um, it's too much work, they're busy in the morning. Let me just show you a quick way um, to enhance your eyes without having a thick, heavy liner. Um, this is one of my favorite products, um, Draw the Line. Gertie, tell them why we love this. First of all, this product, I will say, and then she'll go on, it, it yeah. makes any powder turn into like a waterproof eyeliner, which is fabulous, right? Yeah, so the cool thing about this is that you can literally, you can mix that with any eyeshadow. Any eyeshadow. And, and it, it into turns it into a liquid eyeliner. So it's very cool, it's very unique. Um, it's fun, you can make any color of eyeliner of your dreams. Yeah, like if you have <laughs> if your you have favorite eyeshadow. like emerald eyeshadow, you could actually use this and turn it into an eyeliner. You just need a few drops, um, and then you mix it with a brush. Um, I'm gonna take my eyeliner brush. Um, I recommend right now that you maybe use a black when you're doing this. Um, again, because we really want the eyes to pop um, or a dark, dark brown, um, we're gonna be doing what's called like the tight line. And so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna mix this. I'm gonna mix my liquid with my powder to create my magnificent waterproof liner. Right, Katie? Yeah, it, that's the other thing. It's, it makes it waterproof. Which so is what we need. The line, you get so I could jump in the pool and it stays on, which is great. So <laughs> I'm gonna use my brush. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit on there. Now I'm gonna do something called like a tight line where I'm gonna go underneath the lash line. So you're not gonna see any visible eyeliner on the eyelid. 
Um, again, this is more for those of you who don't wear a lot of eyeliner and want to figure out how to pop that eye. So the key is to, um, obviously it helps if you have like a makeup mirror or you can be, you know, very close to your mirror. Yeah, you want to lift your lashes so up. Thank you, Gertie. Oh, yeah. look how good she is. You want to <laughs> go ahead and lift your lash up a little bit. I know they say don't tug on your skin too much because it stretches the skin, but whatever, we're gonna do that. And what you're gonna be doing is, you're gonna go underneath the lash line, okay? So instead of going on top and doing eyeliner, you're gonna go ahead and go underneath, thank you. So I'm gonna lift it up, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press and wiggle into the lash line, okay? So the goal of this, and at, at one point, you don't even really need to um, hold, your, hold your lid. You just press and wiggle. Now what this is doing is just creating fullness at the base. It actually makes your lashes look oh, thicker and look bigger. Oh. It already looks so much. Oh my God. Look at the difference. And I used <sighs> a tiny bit of product. So for those girls who think they don't want to wear eyeliner, it's too heavy. That does not look like I'm wearing eyeliner, but how much better is that eye look than that eye? Your lashes just amplified. Right? And again, <laughs> it, I'm literally pressing and wiggling and I'm going from underneath. Now I'm gonna close my eye, look it. There's not a heavy eyeliner on top. You literally press and wiggle, press and wiggle. I, you always want to take it all the way to the corner. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, you don't have to be a makeup artist to do this. Now, my favorite thing is, which I don't have. Oh, there it is. Don't worry if you mess up. Like, look, I got a little bit right there. That's all right. You just kind of... Thank you, Gertie. I'm dropping things. She's cleaning up after me. So when you look at my eye, so pops. For fun, I'm going to do this eye and then the other eye. Um, Wear more mascara than you ever thought you needed in your life right now, okay? <laughs> Please. And there's nothing better than, I feel like, maybe I'm biased, but our lash party, it gives you length and volume, which Look at that. I'm obsessed with, because I need both. Yeah, I have like blonde so eyelashes. Gimme, gimme. It's horrifying. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna put way more on. Thanks, y'all. I have helpers here. <laughs> <laughs> you have They're like, team, no, girl. Like, good. I know, we're improvising. So again, you guys, look at that. Look at that difference, Gertie. That's gorgeous. Subtle, but it's effective. so pretty. Okay? So again, you guys, we're gonna do the tight line on the other side. You can use any eyeliner. Wait, show us with the mask first. I wanna see the difference oh. between the two eyes. Gertie's so good. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself here. Okay, ready? Because I feel Gotta like... Gotta put my mask on the right way, too. It's like upside yes. down. Yes. So like, check this out. Mm-hmm. Yes. I mean, that is... That's a big difference. It's a big difference, but it's subtle. So you feel put together and you're, you're pop. Again, we're trying to enhance features by being natural at the same time. Yes. Um, you, all, you can also use a regular eyeliner pencil when you do that. It would be the same way where you would literally just kind of press and wiggle. You're pressing and wiggling into the lash line. This is the brush. That's the other end. I'm showing you if it was an eyeliner um, crayon. <laughs> hey, why don't you grab me uh, a pencil and I'll do the other eye with a pencil. Yeah. See, we get creative when we're live, right? <laughs> Under. You're literally going into the base of your lashes and you're pressing and wiggling under, right in, right where the lashes come out of the, of the skin. You just press and wiggle. That is really cool. I'm going to show this. Press and wiggle. Um, this is our fantastic um, pencil eyeliner. Um, you can do it with this too. So literally. But it's also waterproof. Waterproof. As well. So we're like. So again, I'm pressing and wiggling. You can't mess this up. I mean, you can kind of like dot it. You can. Draw. I mean, you're really just pressing and wiggling, and it has the same effect. Some people just like to use the brush because it's easier. I like a brush. I'm just used to it. But if you don't have a um, liquid eyeliner at home and a brush, then this works just as easily. And again, it's really pretty. You can't mess it up. Again, or notice there's not a lot on top. Now, I do also wear eyeliner on top. I'm not going to put that on right now. Um, because I just wanted to show you how quickly and easy this can be effective. Now, some people wear eyeliner on the bottom as well uh, and mascara. Um, I Right now, I'm not doing that with my mask, but you can, but really this is, it's always, you always wanna do it on top no matter what. Bottom is like a little kick up, you know, if you wanna add a little bit more, but you always wanna make sure you do it on the top because it lifts and it lifts the eyes and it brightens the face when you do that. So I'm gonna add one more layer of my mascara. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna put the mask on and I'm going to show you guys one more little trick. So once you've gotten all your mascara on, I'll do a little on the bottom as well. If you don't usually wear mascara on the bottom, now's the time to try, right Gertie? Right, and you know what? 
how hard is it to talk when you're putting bottom mascara and on? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but I know, because I cannot make the face, right? Like, do you say, oh, I don't do that, but everyone yeah. goes. Everybody makes the face. But I still do it. Sometimes it's more extreme. I'm trying not to do it. No, you're doing great. Look, and I did it because we're on the camera. That's great. embarrassing. But whatever. We're all girls. We all do it. We so I do. just added a little bit underneath, oh, too. So pretty. But again, this is like a natural look, just keeping it clean. I don't want to look like I... I'm going to prom or why well, couldn't because I'm too old That's so <laughs> or a wedding. <laughs> um, the last thing I want to show you with the eyes is a super easy technique. Now, I don't have any eyeshadow on right now. So yeah. it's not about eyeshadow, you guys. Eyeshadow is fun and if you're good at it, do it. But a lot of girls don't know how to do it. That's why they come see us, right? Exactly. <laughs> That's why we do it for you. I do want to show you, though, a little trick that you can do for under the eyes. Now, I'm going to use our highlighter, okay? Mm -hmm a tiny, tiny bit. Um, you can use your finger. The reason why I'm using finger, you guys, is because um, it's easy. You know, I have more brushes than anyone on this planet. Well, maybe Gertie has more than I do. <laughs> but anyway, not every girl uses brushes when they get ready in the morning. Again, I want this to be easy for you. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of that highlighter that I did on my uh, upper, up here in the cheek. And I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of my ring finger and I'm just gonna pat a tiny bit under my brow bone. Just a little bit right there. Okay, so I've highlighted under here, I've highlighted there, and you've highlighted right here. And that's so, all just a pin drop of highlighter too. It is literally, too, I mean, you. it would take your whole life to go through that. Look, just a little pin drop, okay, right in there. Because you don't want it to look all sparkly and shiny like you're, well, I mean, maybe you do, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> some girls much, do. For every but day. I don't like to look too, like, shimmery or whatever. Um, I just want to look kind of sophisticated and put together. Um, and again, there's no eyeshadow on here. So it's just the tight line and then like the little pop under there. So now I have my face on where I so feel great. like if I wasn't wearing a mask, it doesn't look crazy. If I have a mask on, I look pretty. But yes. lipstick, that's the big thing. So what I want to tell you guys is obviously Gertie has this gorgeous red lip. Come show them the red lip again. Look Wait. at that pretty red lip. <laughs> This isn't every day, all right? I know. I just got dressed up for because you. Because she and she, yeah. But let's say you're like, I'm not gonna wear a red lip because I'll get on my mask. Lip stains. Yeah. It's the best thing. Why? It really doesn't wear off on the mask, which is phenomenal. I mean, we always tell our brides, wear a lip stain so you can you can you can kiss at your wedding and it doesn't get all over your groom. Um, anyway, just a little bit of this. I don't. I'm not gonna put a ton on. I'm not a big color person. Some people are, um, but I'm just gonna put a little bit on so that you know I have a little something fun underneath. The, um, the beautiful gonna, thing about a lip stain is that you can do it natural mm -hmm. or you can keep adding yep. and make it be bright and bold. Because look at that. How pretty. And so and show I just how did, bright that looks in the bottle. Look so it's kind is. of, you wouldn't believe that's what it looks like on. Just a little smudge of it. So I have a little color on my lip that's not going to come off on my mask. So when I do take my mask off, because I will, I'm, I don't have like dry, pale lips or whatever. Um, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put my handy dandy mask, my new best friend in life. She's going on. <laughs> We're real close these days, her and I. <laughs> well, not just, I have like 30 of them. So. <laughs> There's not just one, I promise. They'd be like, what? <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of, you know, see do I, do I look put together. It is difficult to wear earrings, so I always say the long dangly, you know, I have a short dangly now because they do get, you know, <laughs> caught. Um, I want to make sure that I feel like there is enough. Now I might, it's kind of hard to hear me, um, yeah. just for fun, pop just a tiny bit more blush now that my mask is on. Um, I'm going to go like this and then I'm going to see, maybe just a little bit more like right there. Yeah, that's pretty. Just so you can see it a little more. And Lacey's using Sonoma. It's, it's a beautiful coral shade that is so easy to wear and looks so pretty on mm -hmm. light, fair, medium, and dark skin tones, which is really cool in a, in a color that it looks pretty on almost every skin tone. So, do we feel yeah. like I look a little put together? Oh yeah. Even though I've got ah. a mask on? And then if I was gonna take my mask off, um, I do have a little color. And then remember, I just have this uh, powder play underneath, so it's not a heavy liquid foundation that's gonna come off. I mean, I've actually pressed my mask on and there's no lip on my mask and there's no powder because um, we've used the powder play. Exactly. I almost forgot the most important part. How could I forget? You know what I'm We got it. We have to set it. Jet set or Gertie, you set do the it. honors. Come set jet set it. me. Okay, 
ready? Tell okay. them what we love so, Jet Setter. I always call this my Zen, it. my Zen spray because mm -hmm. not only does it mat mattify your skin and hold mm -hmm. your makeup in place, but it smells amazing. So this is my Zen spray and this is my morning ritual. I'm like, okay. Oh, okay, I'm ready to take on the world now. But and more than ever, ever. Okay. I will be honest though, I feel like like a setting spray is probably the last thing, but like not very savvy makeup girl. I don't want to say you're not savvy, but like if you don't wear a lot of makeup, you're not going to buy a setting spray. Yeah. Let me tell you, this right now is your key. Like even if you're just wearing a little bit of powder and you didn't do everything I did, a setting spray is going to be so great if you do have to wear that mask um, because it's really going to keep it in place and keep it fresh. So I'll let Gertie do Definitely. the honors. Okay, close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, one. I always do a couple. Yeah. One, two, three. Because I <laughs> I was doing it. I was going to catch you so hard. I was like, yeah. The other cool thing is that you can throw this in your bag and you can refresh throughout the day. So you can Pretty. So, okay. <laughs> we'll go ahead and, and uh, finish up with the, the final mask. Yeah. I'm ready to go to work. Yeah. Or wherever I'm going, right? Um, fluff my hair. Beautiful. And um, I've got a little bit of makeup on and I look put together. Woo! Yay! Fun. Yay! <laughs> yeah. I mean, beautiful. Yes. Thank, you, Thank you so much Thanks for... Thanks for putting up with me. <laughs> what an awesome day. Oh, you guys, oh, please. I'm please. Well, I would say it's cheers. Be cheers. safe out there. Yes. And try and make the best of this. I think we can all still be super cute, right? Yeah. 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 Totally. You, no need to yeah. not be. Well, you know, I, I have been talking with some, you know, just, of course, women in, in the business and uh, customers and different people. And it's so funny because we never thought right now we would be you know, accessorizing with our mask, but no, I don't know about y'all, but I at least have a handful in, in my purse that I am now coordinating with my office, and yep. you know what, it's kind of fun, it. fun, so yeah, we right. can make, make up too, now's the time to play around right. and have fun and do something different and kind of venture outside of your little comfort yes. box, and you know, when you're, when you're not wearing a mask, throw that red lip back on. Oh my gosh, we did that red lip. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>